What's up, ballers? This is Kimchi. And Tofu. Yeah! Welcome to Winter Cup. We're continuing with Satan versus Tofu Academy. Aumine versus Kagami. But. 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 I know it's weird, but we gotta do 41.5. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I know we want you guys want to see us get straight into the second half of the game. But I don't know, 41.5, let's do that again. So I'm guessing this is gonna be like a throwback flashback. Right, just like how we had it with the Iron Heart. Yeah, exactly. So I think this is it. But honestly, I do enjoy this. So I feel like watching this and then going into 42, 43 to close off Almine's game will be more impactful. Me too. Right? Then skipping it and going straight into it. So this is yeah. something definitely we have to watch. Yes. I think there's some good stuff in here. Are you ready, Tofu? I'm ready. Yeah! Guys, thank you guys for joining Kimchi and Tofu. Let's go and start the show! Yeah! Bah! Ooh, this is an eerie feeling. Right? Ooh, Hold on, did nice. Kuroko just make a basket in? That's he my did. first time seeing him. Right? A layup? Look how young Momoi looks too, huh? Uh -huh. <laughs> what? <laughs> What's wrong with him? God, look at him. He looks so cool as a middle school kid too. Yeah, he look, his face looks so young. Wow. God, look at Aumine. He's dude. such a baby. He's so baby. Hold on. See, oh Aumine gosh. like this is so weird. So the, it was an eerie feeling. They made it creepy. <laughs> He's so innocent. Oh my God. This is... Oh, look. Oh, so oh. cute. So this is their very first time meeting? Yeah, before attending middle school. Oh, so this is elementary. Oh. Before middle school is elementary, isn't it? Oh. So they just got into middle school. Is that what okay. it is? Yeah, that's oh. why they look so little. Oh, dude, I'm excited for this episode. Me too. God, it's so weird seeing Aumine like that. Right? Man. Both of them, they're so cute. <laughs> and then you see Murasaki Bara, and then <laughs> in elementary, he's exactly the same. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right? Ooh. She has a kendo stick. Wait, is she their coach? Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> that coach has a kendo stick. <laughs> what is she going to do with that? Whack her players? When Looks they, like, oh, my oh, God. Like we're seeing them young. Oh, this is cute. Wait, did we see this? I don't remember seeing that piece. Sure, but I, guess I don't now, remember this. I guess it didn't really click. Well, I mean, that was, this was the first time we see the intro from the last game, so... Just because yeah. this is a Winter Cup intro. Oh, yeah. He's laughing too much. He's <laughs> laughing so much. Oh, look, look at, at Akashi. Oh, Midorima. Yeah, he oh, kind of looks the same. With yeah. Oh, wait. Kuroko started off as third string. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that meeting, it feels so warm. It does. Man. Kuroko's so <laughs> cute. I'm sorry. He right? Yeah, he's so cute. The vanishing drive at this age. Did he really? Oh, wait, did he really do the vanishing drive back then? He started then. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was so awkward. <laughs> right? Oh, my gosh. Oh, so he's expecting something special, but it wasn't. No. I'm going to show some skills. Teach Kuroko a little bit. Oh yeah, I mean it loves playing one on one. Remember? Oh yeah. Yeah, it's in his blood. Ooh. Oh, Kuroko kept up with him. Wow, Until Kuroko was point. catching up with him like he was seeing with his eyes. Until he did the special spin. And they've been doing this all night together. So do you think Kuroko kind of helped Almine learn some special moves? Maybe. <laughs> he disappeared. He's, gone. <laughs> <laughs> He's so. <laughs> oh, Kuroko. What is he gonna notice? Oh. Kuroko always popping in. <laughs> wow, man. You know what's so interesting? It's like him and Taiga's relationship when they first met, too. On it's the, so during this similar. Time. Well, not too similar, no. but you know, it's like in the same situation. Almine, of course, is a lot more friendlier. <laughs> yeah, actually a pain in the butt. Yeah. He just <laughs> said there's not enough first string who even practices. <laughs> oh yeah, because Kuroko was on top of it. Oh, so he didn't know, he just guessed. No, he read it. Man, their relationship was so good and innocent back then. Yeah. Look at that. Aomi yeah. even asking Tetsu to go practice together. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. is uh -oh. this a Midorima? Yeah! <laughs> yes, 
We don't even want the same exact. <laughs> oh my gosh, the net is the lucky item. <laughs> Damn, Kuroko really looked up to Almine. Yeah, he did. Wow. Oh. Damn, look at that fist pump. Oh, man. This warms my heart so much. <laughs> man, this warms my heart so much. So they both enjoyed basketball the same. Why does Kuroko look so sad? Because he probably feels so far away. He's not uh, going to be able to reach it. Akashi. <laughs> Murasaki Bara. <laughs> He's exactly the same, I told you. Yeah, he <laughs> <laughs> this guy never changed. <laughs> uh, that was Almine's dirty shirt. Yeah. Oh, he mm. just feels so much farther away from him. I think probably. so. Oh, wait. Wow, he wait. went to that extreme? Is he giving up? Hmm. Oh. Wow. He respected Kuroko so much and it pushed Aomine. Oh. Aomine saved Kuroko from basketball. Yeah, he did. And here's the crew. <laughs> they can't even see Kuroko. <laughs> Wait, the the one and only Akashi couldn't even see Kuroko? Ah, uh -uh. this was back then anyway. <laughs> of course he's on the team. That guy has blue hair. What mm -hmm. do you think? Oh. oh Akashi. Whoa. Whoa. Oh. 6321. Jeez. Oh my god, I wanted Dang. I was so close seeing Akashi play. There's Kuroko. Yeah, he's playing on the team. Damn, especially those two. Wow. So they were the closest. God, look at him. He's feeling it. He's feeling <laughs> the passion. <laughs> they get to play together. Yeah. That's what he wanted. <laughs> 130-61. He scored 80 points by himself out of that. Oh, I think this is the time where we start seeing a change. Oh, even Kuroko didn't come out too. Damn, wow. Almine got really depressed. Yeah, he did. I thought he was going to say no, but... They're still <laughs> friends. We're not that Almine yet. No. And here's the scene that we've seen already. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, yeah, this happened last time, right? Yeah. Why did I think he did it to Kagami last time, too? I forgot. <laughs> did you hear that? Yeah. You'll find someone amazing later. If he ever goes against him, he wants him to go at his full power. Do we have to remember Inoue from Kamizaki later? Probably. <laughs> Murasaki Mara, look at him. He's a monster, dude. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Perfect shot. Mm. <laughs> I love it that they show Kise not scoring. Because, no. you know, he's still a rookie. Oh, yeah. Oh, so Kuroko was Kise's sub. Oh. Kise comes on, Kuroko goes, ah. That's right. That's how it goes. Whoa. What is with that? I don't know. Wow. Whoa. Wow, look at that dunk. Holy nice. cow, he went this way. Oh no, hey, and this is the part. And where they give up. Yeah, everyone gives up. Do you think this is Akashi's fault? Dude, this is just... It's not even a game at this point. Mm-mm. You know See? what's crazy about uh, uh, Akashi's eyes? What? It's not the same as the last time we saw it. Cat eyes in different color. Watch his eyes. Oh. Oh, and there it goes. The only one who can beat me is me. And this is where he loses the light. Man. Oh, <laughs> he told no. him that. Okay, I'll go. But I'll only play the game. <laughs> Not practice. Oh, that's the coach. I'll meet his coach right yeah. now. Toe Academy. So he took him in. This is that point. Yep. And his teammate. <laughs> I'm the captain. What do you want? <laughs> yeah, so, okay, so what? <laughs> oh, at first, what? so he didn't want him at school. Oh, mm. wow. So you actually saw that. Yes. You saw it right through his eyes. So he's saying that the coach canceled. No. Oh, man. Oh, don't tell me it's over. Okay, so keep going. Hold on. His strength is worthy of our faith. <laughs> yeah. And this is where he thinks about it, right? Mm -hmm. But Toe. There's Kuroko. Man, Kuroko's been always tailing Aomine, huh? Yeah, always by his side. Oh, Kuroko was like his little puppy, always by his side. 
we'll point. meet again in the future wearing different uniforms. Oh, and then this is that point now. Oh, you know what? I am so happy I watched this. We watched this. Me too. I am so glad we got this before we went to the second half. Because honestly, guys, we were thinking about, hey, should we just go straight to the game? Yes. Right? We'll do 41.5 later. But watching this now really, really shows me that how close Almine and Kuroko was. Yeah. Like, why Kuroko feels a certain way that yes. he doesn't want to go through this again. Almine and Kuroko was like... Best friends. Best, yeah. They were so close. They were like bread and butter. I mean, going from this was invented mm -hmm. by Kuroko and Almine. And now to see Kuroko and Almine going against each other... Honestly, it feels like this is like the season finale or something because it's like all that past comes all the way to here. But then we got, of course, all the other ones. But I mean, it sucks that we got to play Almin in the first match of Winter Cup. But that's what I felt. I mean, like it felt that if we were going back uh -huh. watching Teiko Middle School instead of Kuroko no Basket, it's like Teiko no Basket, <laughs> right? And we watched yeah. the Middle School. I feel that Almin versus Kuroko would be the finale. Yeah. Wow, the next two episodes have more meaning for me now. It's so heartwarming to see how this thing started. I mean, they had something really, really good together. Only problem I feel like was that Aumine should have just waited. I feel like it's kind of similar to Kagami and his friend situation, like how they bonded through basketball, they mm -hmm. got close, and then they had this fallout. Yeah. And so now they're going to have their rematch too. And now oh. that's the same thing with Kuroko and Almine. They're having their rematch. But this time, Kuroko is giving Almine what he needs. Kagami has trained to his fullest so that he can go one-on-one -on -one with Almine. Mm -hmm. And Kuroko has trained hard too so that he can push Almine to do his best do as his well. Best. Right, right. And I think Kagami was exactly what Almine was looking for. And yes. I feel like even if Almine is going to lose, I feel that we're still going to get some kind of happy ending with Almine. Yes. Right? Yes, it's like his passion or his love of basketball will have returned. And do you think we'll ever see him like smile and laugh? You remember, we already started to see him smile. A little bit, like just a little, yeah, a smile. We but saw him I, smile. But after watching this episode, I've never seen him this bright this before. This happy, well, you gotta remember pure booter, pu <laughs> sorry. Puberty? Puberty. <laughs> oh yeah, puberty hits, right? Of course. I kind of find it interesting though, because it feels like Akashi kind of pushed Almine to the point that he got. To that Something point. about Akashi, right? Yeah, it seems off. Like he yeah. knew how good Almine was and maybe knew what his breaking point was and he did that on purpose. Right? Because he's like, Doesn't we'll really show way? how one sided this is or something. Yeah, yeah. he's like, well, yeah, let's beat him. Let's do that. Throw to Almine the whole time. And he's like, oh, how many has he shot? No. 36 points. He only scored 36. Yes. Not 80. And he's like, no, that's not how it should be. Yeah. Get him up there. Yeah, something with Akashi. I just love how Kuroko gets mysterious about Akashi. Yeah. I love that. Me too. Even if she, it's just a basketball player or something. like. Why do I feel like he's like a icky guy? Like, uh, what was it? The uncrowned king? He right? gives me those icky vibes. Yeah, like something's odd about him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because like I said, even if he's just a basketball player, we still get that feeling of like he's a big villain or yes. they develop his character in such a way where it's just like you just want more. You want to see more of him and they're just teasing you here and there, here they and there. Do. As fast as Kroko's pace they're going, it's so fun how he makes you so invested into like each character. Yes. Also with the <coughs> Kuroko and Amine story, I like it that they showed how Kuroko got into the team, got on the team to play with them. And it's sad though too that he came to that point that he almost gave up. He almost gave up. And not only that, Kuroko was a third string. Yeah. So Amine was first and then that's the first string and then you got the second string and then the third string. Yeah. So like third string is like, you just don't play. No. Basically, you're just like the water board or something. But... Kuroko almost gave up basketball and Aomine was the one that saved him. Yes. So Kuroko might want to say, this is why this match is so important. Yeah. Because it's not only about winning, it's about saving his friend. Saving his friend and their love for basketball. Exactly. Because that's what Aomine did. And oh, just looking back at Aomine and Kuroko's relationship, it just breaks your heart to know that something like this is going on right now. Mm -hmm. Now... When I see Kuroko pass that night past Kai to Aomine, now I understand his pain. Like His anger like, towards him. Man, he's just like, I hate you. Like, I could feel that hurtness. Yes. 
Oh man, because if I saw this and I saw that, man, that would have like really put me down. But yeah, I'm just glad that Kuroko still didn't give up hope, even after what happened with him and Almine. Because if he felt that crush with that happen, then he would be like, you know what, screw it then too. Like I'm gonna play by myself. I'm not gonna go into the same situation again and try to find another light. But he did. He found Kagami.、Mm-hmm. He told Kagami straight up, and he's like, basically, he doesn't want what happened to him and Almina to happen again. Do you feel like also Kuroko might feel like it's kind of his fault too for maybe passing the ball too much to Almina after being on the team, and then all of a sudden Almina is too good? Because you remember he、this、did help inspire Almina to、no. practice more, practice harder, because Kuroko was the only one that was practicing afterwards, and. Almine said that he's like you're the one that actually inspires me. I respect you because you make me want to practice when I see you practice.、Oh. So it's like him practicing and then him being the one that passed to him so many times and Almine hitting that breaking point on that game. It's like, do you think he feels、oh, like he has some、probably. part of the blame? Do you probably yes and no? Yes and no because I feel like this is just inevitable. Yeah, <laughs> that he's just so just, good. He's so good. But at the same time, I think what should have happened is it should have been both of them having fun. Yes. How it used to be, instead of like, well, I mean, but he does love the game, so he wants to go against stronger players. I mean, at the at some point, when things get just way too easy,、yeah. even when you play video games or anything like that, they get boring. It gets boring.、That's、so it's、true. just like, what the heck am I doing here? That's true. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, so that's what Almina was feeling. So now watching this, out in the beginning, I was hurt like freak. I don't want to see Almina sad because he's going.、Yeah. Now watching this, I feel like he can be saved. Yeah, and that I want to see the light come back again in Almina. So I'm very happy to see that this Winter Cup, Almina versus Kuroko, that's gonna happen, and I just believe that. Kuroko is gonna slap the light back into him. Slap the light. Kagami is gonna slap the light back into him. Yes. And you know what's going to happen? Almina is the best player, or the not the best player. Let's say he's the highest scoring player in the Takeo. Yeah. Generation of Miracle, right? He's the highest scoring player. So when they find out that Kagami beat Almina for the Winter Cup, now it becomes like, whoa! The Generation of Miracle is just gonna open their eyes. Like it is. He just got through Almina. This Winter Cup just became way more serious after watching this. Yeah, and after seeing this episode, it kind of brings back the last episode where you remember when Kuroko he threw it, he got angry, and then all of a sudden, after talking to Kagami, he came back、mm-hmm. and he felt better. Yeah. Do you think also it relates to what they said in this episode? How Kuroko said, "If I went against you, I would want you to go all out." It's like okay, you know what? Almine went all out on me, and I couldn't do it. I'm gonna get back, and I'm gonna try harder again because I know that Almine doesn't want to play against the team that gives up either. So re- maybe he was remembering some things too、mm-hmm. that relate to that incident. Yeah, because remember, Kuroko he invented one of the things just especially for Almine. Yes. Yeah. So he wanted to go all out against Almine, but then Almine shut him down, saying that it don't matter if you put so much effort in it. Because fate is fate, the best will always just win. It、yes. doesn't matter how much effort you put in, and that's what made Kuroko mad. Because back then, Almine respected Kuroko because he was putting so much effort in. So、yes. it's like Almine just told Kuroko the complete opposite. He took back his own words. He took back his own words. That's why now I understand why Kuroko was very mad about that. Now I understand a lot more than back then how we watched it. I'm so happy we watched 41.5. Me too. Watching the Generation of Miracle back in the day, something I want to watch again. And、um, man, this show is so fun. Yeah,、God. it is. Wow. They gotta make a Kuroko season、Jeez. four Takeo Middle School where it goes backwards. Right. Yeah. I would so watch that. Yeah. Man. Or I would even watch All Stars. What's All Stars? Oh, All Stars. Like, Later on, they pick the、oh. best. To go against like other other national teams. Oh yeah, okay. And think then about it. New characters. No, think about it. We got the Generation Miracle Five、oh, now、then? going against like the world, like against America and all that stuff. How fun would that be? Yeah, but then I would miss our team. Oh, Satan. Yeah. Nah, we're watching them for sixty-five, seventy episodes. <laughs> I, it's fine. I can watch the next ten episodes just go. Okay. Okay. All right. Woo. 
Well, all right, guys, uh, that was Kuroko's Basketball 41.5. Tell us down at the comments below, how did you guys like the episode as well? I mean, yes. going into this and then to the next one, this just really sold everything together yeah. for us. So, yeah, hope you guys uh, had a great day. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you guys soon for the second half of Aomine versus Kuroko. Yes, we'll see you guys then. Bye! Bye.